Um, this is not actually a rant, it's just how I feel about what friendship is in my 30s. As a young person growing up, from your childhood to your teenage age to your 20s and then you get to your 30s, you realize that friendships actually move from stage to stage. Like growing up, I never I, I was never taught the importance of friendship, what friendship should be why it is necessary for people for us to have friends we just grew up with pairs and we played you know friendship then as a child was just by default as we started growing up we now realize that there's a need for you to choose the kind of friends that you want to relate with even from your primary school by the time you get to secondary school it's now very important for you to actually learn how to make friends and one thing is that i was not taught how to make friends <laughs> i was not taught how to make friends i had to learn on my own because friendship the average African home, let me not say average African, average Nigerian home, one of the things you will hear all the time is that, ah, friends can do this, be careful, especially if you're from a Christian home, you know that the number one warning is that evil communication corrupts good ones. So, because they don't want your, your, for you to be corrupted, they will say it's better for you not to have friends. Even when you have friends, there are, there's a certain amount of friends that you should have. You know, this over time made me to just fall into my shell. I did not make so much friends in school. The people that I, I talked to were just classmates. But to say this person is my friend, I can say this person is my best friend. No, I never had that. You know, fast forward to secondary school and going to boarding school, I realized that ah, this friendship skill is very important. It's something that I need to have. When I got to the boarding school, I now saw how. In order for you to actually even survive in school, you need people. You need to be intentional about making friends. You need to be able to sit down, have conversations with people. There are things you want to do. You cannot just do with everybody, but it has to be a close friend you want to do stuff with. It was in boarding school I started learning how to make friends. I started learning how to interact with people, have a cordial relationship with them. It's not just something that happens by chance, but something that I, I look at a person and say, this, this person is who I want to be friends with because this is how this person is, because this is how this person is. And I feel like they share the same values, you know. I was learning, most of my friendships did not last so long because <laughs> I, I easily got irritated with people who, like sometimes when people start acting up, I don't even want to deal with, with them anymore. But because I knew it was important for us for me to have friends, I still kept on trying to build good relationships like good friends. Then I got into the university. I think it's in the university that's where it all broke. I literally had to pray to God and say, God, I need friends, I need good friends. And I need you to bring the right friends to me. My first thing was just focused on school. But from my second year to my final year, I made a lot of friends. I made good friends. For most of the friends I have today, the longest friends I have today are the ones I made from the university. Every other friend from secondary school, I just talked to them, hello, hi, but from, from my university days, the friends that I made in my university are the longest friends that I have today. Once I was now in university, I had learned so much about making friends, what I wanted, how, the kind of people I wanted around. I still made mistakes too, but it was easy. It was easier to make friends in university because first of all, we were all students, so we have a, a platform that gives us the opportunity to just be around each other so friendship was kind of easy as i think but even in that friendship you still have to be very wise in the people you want to relate with in, in the kind of communication you want to have with people so that that helped me to to streamline the amount of people that were coming in that i was relating with even though i had a lot of people i, I could walk on the road and i'm greeting a lot of persons it didn't mean that those people were my friends they were just people acquaintances mostly acquaintances but as I then, not feel like acquaintance, sometimes we just just mix them up and say, oh, if somebody should ask you, say, it's my friend, that person is my friend, she's my friend, you know, and you just move on like that. Through my university, till after I graduated in my NYC, I also met on wonderful friends too in my NYC. And after I said, you're not in the school anymore, where you have a lot of people surrounded by you, you start realizing that, oh, friendship does not just happen by chance anymore, you know. It happens by being intentional, more intentional than you've ever been. So sometimes, because people have built their mindsets to a certain point, they, they don't want to, they don't want people, other people to interfere. If you don't have similar values, you realize that those um, friendships don't last. Like, I also learned that people become friends with people based on what you can get from them. Because at this point, most people are looking for how to climb up the ladder, become better in their places of work, you know, 
in their fields so people people at this point are not looking for how to it doesn't matter who they are stepping on they are just going up you know so from from your teenage age to your 20s you realize that you come through a, a full range of ups and downs in friendships and you've gotten to the point once you get to your late 20s you've gotten to the point where you now realize that oh people are this way people are that way so people become more guarded when they when they get to their late 20s in fact by the time you're entering your 30s people have already made up their mind that they don't even want to be friends what they want is business relationships so now at this point where you're in your 30s or in your late 20s it now becomes more difficult for you to have new friends new people that you can you can um, relate with because the truth is that as you go your friends most of the friends you make over time get separated from them and you get separated from them because you're, you're graduating from schools you're 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 going to serve and from service you're done with service everybody goes back to their homes you know, their service brings us from every part of the state of the country and then brings us into one a particular space so after that you make friends from different parts different areas and you are going back to where you're coming from people now learn that oh friendships don't last too that's an thing people learn friendships don't last and because they've learned that friendships don't last they try they they, they compartmentalize friendships we begin to compartmentalize our friendships and this one is friendship here this one is friendship in this place we have friends in church we have friends in in war at work we have friends in um, whatever social gathering you're in i feel like friendship should be wholesome you know we have a particular set of friends where we share a lot of things in common and um, maybe we attend the same church or we we attend the same church we work in so and so place or maybe in the same field you know the same we have the same kind of career so those, those are the kind of friendships people begin to make when they get into their 30s they are looking for a more wholesome relationship with people so it's more difficult at this point to now say walk into a place and start making new friends even when you relocate and go to a new place finding the right set of friends because this, this experience is not just something that is peculiar to you it's, it's peculiar to everybody everybody's experiencing them at the same time so you get to a new place you're seeing that people have they have cliques they have groups for you to have that awesome relationship you're looking for becomes really really difficult that is just like a benchmark that people have put that once you get here you get to this text like this as you cross everything in life just turn upside down <laughs> you know everything in life just turn upside down it feels like there's life has a cap now there's a cap to whatever you can do how you can do it and all of that but i learned that it's not true it's not true there's no cap if you've learned how to build relationships in your 20s and your late 20s getting into your 30s you just whatever friendship the way you make friends in those periods is how you're most likely going to make friends also in your 30s but this is one simple way i can say anybody in their 30s can make friends is to is to be friends with your friends friends like friends or friends yes that way you have friends who already have similar principles that you share so the easiest way to make these friendships now to make new friends now is to be in gatherings where you have friends or friends in attendance that way you can easily make friends get to meet people and um, share what they share and also get to see them for who they are because because they are with their friends they are all relaxed you know they are they are being themselves so you get close to those kind of friends even if you want to get do something new want to join a group you want to join a gym start new classes you know and all of this you can make friends from there so i personally feel like it's more reliable to be friends with friends for me i i'll say that if i'm trying to network especially for business i could consider being a part of a new group maybe in you can also join a gym you can see a, an event online and then decide to attend you know things like that can work for networking but when it comes to having people that are close friends that you can say oh this is somebody new friends that you want to make um in your test it's, it's easier for you to have such friends that you, you can rely on if they are somewhat in your circle of friends like recently i a friend of mine cheesy started a hangout and and the hangout she named it journal and become which it was very it was an eye-opener like what we discussed in the group was so beautiful and most of the people in attendance people like knew already but i got to meet new persons that i had not met before and what a way to start good friendships because in in this in, in this hangout 
we had the opportunity to talk about ourselves what we do what we like you know you could hear the people's personalities when they talk you could hear people's values when they talk so if i say i want to become friends with so and so person this is why i want to be friends with so and so even if you are in your 30s there's no big deal about how friendship should be the way you've always made friends is still the same way you should always make friends because that's what suits you yes as you grow things can change from here to there it doesn't mean that it's going to be a 360 change like all of a sudden everything about you has changed no. right now advice i would give to people in their 20s is that figure out the kind of friends that you want how you want your friendships to be and the same patterns the same thing is what you will see apply in your 30s do not let society pressure you that once you get into your 30s a clock has been turned against you it's not true it's really really not true it's not true life is not like that most of the time people get to their 30s and whatever challenges they face are usually challenges that are self-inflicted or challenges that are influenced by society mindsets that have been built over time about what their 30s is supposed to be like so that's it friendship in your 30s is beautiful and it's less stressful than when you're in your 20s or because you're not trying to please anybody you're not trying to please anybody you're not trying to be who you're not you are just yourself and you're looking for people who are interested in knowing you for who you are today i, I can boast of having so many good friends so many good friends and i hope to get make more friends i'm really really open to making more friends i want a community of friends right now but i'm so grateful for the friends that i have today and how beautiful they've been cheesy sandra uh, be these friends that I have they've been amazing over the years and I hope to make new friends in the nearest future so cheers to new friendships in the future bye